Let's go for the pods. And we're about to meet the antagonists of the alien and Predator campaigns. Yeah, they just decided to get down from the pods to just say hi to us since we're arriving here, right? There they come. I really think the structure of the pods hanging there in this cannon are uh, it's just really interesting. Like the bases are up there, you have they have to you know in a very like more of a safer General, location than in the ground. Welcome to the forward observation pods. You took down our defense grid. The guy with the gray hair is Rickoff, the guy in the black the clothes are is a Eisenberg. Protocols. We made alterations. You can never be too safe. Apparently you can. Regardless, my men are ready to deploy immediately if necessary. You're too late. We've repaired what can be repaired. So he was kind of out for nothing, died today. to be honest. Sorry to hear that. But the situation is contained? We're still assessing the situation. The pods are intact, but we have teams in the field for biological and archaeological research. Even after what happened to the POC? This facility is self-contained. With security running properly, we're perfectly safe. Besides, we've wired the tunnels with charges. We can seal them remotely in case of contamination. Three teams still haven't reported. You may Very have killed we, what, more than we, we know. We'll do whatever we can to get them out. Or to we open the tunnels, inside. To open the gates like of the to tunnels. We ended up like with the just POC. causing some problems here. I'm afraid the was severed when the facility was overrun. We've set up a booster transmitter in the tunnels. With your permission, my soldiers can modify your software to utilize our transmitter. Of course. If you could lend us a terminal, Harrison here can yeah, perform the, the work. Expert, Technician Styles, we are. please take this gentleman to the control deck. Assist him in any way necessary. Technically, they're trying to like act like a little bit like just try to help each other, despite them not I really like the each other. Communication channels. We don't want them asking him. Yeah, they don't trust the Marines because they are doing a lot you of dirty stuff here. Rosters? Yes, General. So they're gonna they are they're going to try to use the Marines and up like getting rid of them at the same bodies, time. Who can prove where they died? In the tunnels, as we'll claim, yeah, six weeks ago in the POC. They are lying about the mission, mission that they are going to be sending the Marines after. They're going to send the Marines to rescue a thing, but the thing is already dead, already died a long time ago. So it's all, it's all bullshit to just distract the Marines from not having them know about any of the corruption in the, at the pods that is going out between the, comp, the employees there, Rickov and Eisenberg pretty much, and try to get rid of them at the same time. The good news, we have found survivors. Dr. Eisenberg and his head of security, General Rikov, greeted us on arrival. Only they weren't happy. Reportedly, Mother Virus didn't just take out his, the tunnel security. He also tore a hole into the pod's defense grid, big enough for the, a herd of bugs to run through. Yeah, I was like 50 minutes down. And during that time, that time like the, all, the aliens are always waiting for a bridge in the system. They are like very smart. And they, as soon as that happened, a bunch of aliens attacked the pods and one managed to get in. Which is gonna be, as we guys gonna know, it's gonna be the alien that we play in the alien campaign. They have they have had fatalities in the pod and lost contact with a large archaeological team, two dozen scientists and laborers. I have offered to assist, I starting with getting Harrison to restore content with the Verloc, which is that big ship, that Sulaco looking ship that we, we got into. So we may be needing her cold sleep chambers for emergency medical evacuation. So he's gonna just get the connect. Uh, the communications back from the pods to the POC and to the Verloc because the pods have been pretty much like isolated in regards to communication for the last uh, six weeks. To our personnel from internal security, in recent days we have detected a number of unauthorized transmission emanating from within the pods. Let's remind you that internal communication transmitters are property of Wayland Yutani. Our transmission must be limited to air F space specified by by company procedure and L783. Failure to comply with that is grounds for criminal persecution. This might be a reference to an event in Primal Hunt uh, expansion pack in which a predator managed to send a broadcast through the pods, which they cannot, like, uh, the humans cannot identify what kind of message it is, since it was like a predator message only. There's a lot of notes. This, this level here is going to have a lot of notes. To our personnel from the moral department, simple thoughts of a comfort. The ark floated for 40 days and 40 nights. We have only been cut off for 39 days. Look up and see the dove. Yeah, it's like a reference to the ark thing from the Bible, I think. Just like a comparison that some one, one employee here at the pods did. I really like the structure of the pods. Yeah, here. I think it's great. It, it, it's like yeah, we have the elevator there. I, it's just like something really like a big, a big Sorry, sir. research facility. Uh, really taken from the alien movies, like 
I just like to design. Oh no, did I got stuck? There's a bug. Sorry, sir. There's a bug. Each, oh, each door, you can get to this door and it doesn't unlock and you get stuck. But this first part of the level, there's, you just like go around. I'm, I don't know where I have to go. I just went around here to show a little more of what, 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 what is there here. But we just go through. I think here might be a character that we're going to meet later on. I think that's Tomiko. Which is going to be someone that we're going to be talking later on in, the, in this level. In the next one. Here is where we're going to be re uh, restarting the communication. Access thing. transmission protocols. Access denied. General transmission protocols require Alpha 1 clearance. Access landline transmission protocols. Access granted. Reset primary transport route to V290 booster protocol. Resetting. Override access authorized. Incoming message. Roster setting altered. Look, look, he ended up bump bumping into some, some, some information that he shouldn't have. What the hell? And a little because I'm of having that, trouble accessing and also the because of protocol. his actions, which resulted into the, into the grid going down, uh, something bad is hey. about to happen. Yeah, this is Dunia, one of Rikov Iron Bears. Like she's pretty much like a daughter to Rikov. You'll need to interface with the root system. She Please is mad at Harrison because when he we did a thing with the previous mission that took down the the, the security grid of the boss, her fiance died. Yeah, well, yeah, that was mother, but, not me. I was See, just he's trying to just tell her. What happened was like mother really? taking down the system, not me. I was just following Blame orders. My fiance, Dimitri. Yeah. Your fiance. She is mentioning her fiance because she blames and Harrison for changes. what happened. Don't worry, he is gone. He was outside the yeah. pods when the system, when the system went, went down, down by our actions in the previous mission. Casualty. One of the aliens got him. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, of course, I understand. I will. We will he, I'll see a little bit more about her in the Predator campaign, about Recop and his men, the Iron Bears, which are like this. Mercenaries and oh, look at that. She knocked him out and she's gonna try to get rid of him pretty much. They he has been like uh like they put him into the labor force. Like we have like the convicts are used for labor here. It's been a while since we've seen uh, new blood. They pretty much here. like made up what? like just we're gonna be Where uh, we're gonna I? be knowing what happened after cold sleep? we're gonna pretend that there is like a, what are you in for? a, a huh? convict kill him like they they, they like fake it Harrison's death were you to try of? to pretend I'm to, to put him like as a convict I'm a marine sure you are and I'm innocent <laughs> you want to believe <laughs> I the shit that happened to me dude attention security please escort convict number 16 to prep room B and That's the plan you, was put him to ex into implantation. <laughs> pretty really much like used it as a hose for a facehugger. Out of the freezer and into the frying pan. She didn't, didn't want just Harrison to die. Time to get acquainted. Yeah, I'm heartbroken too. <laughs> no sedative. For yeah, this one. She she yeah, wants okay. him to be facehugger. She used it as a hose for you know Aiden and no be need. awake during 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 the, the process. Room. But we're, this is God's not gonna be our end. Idiot. Fortunately for us, our cellmate has a knife have their minds and he's gonna be trying things. to break out by killing the guard. Their mistake. And we're gonna take advantage of this situation to break out. Like this. Oh, it's still the same test log. So, yeah, I mean, what happened here was that, like I was saying, Dunia is angry at Harrison because when we took out the security system by, by in order to open the tunnels, the, the mother. Mother computer virus that broke broke to the system ended up taking down the security of the pods. While that was happening, we're gonna be seeing the alien campaign that her fiance Dimitri was outside, and the aliens end up getting him. The, the alien wave that tried to attack the pods while the, the, the location was vulnerable, and because of that, she blames Harrison for it. Because, I mean, yeah, he he was the one that started the process, ended up taking down the security, but it was like a, it was like not only he was following orders, but it was something that the like he explained the mother mother computer system was end up doing on its own like so he didn't have that much control over it what oh my god is this the oh i think i got the bug again yeah the, there are some elevators that are not working very well uh in, in my in my game it has also happened in the first mission so i'm gonna be using a shit to shit my way Okay, uh, I can I can des deactivate this shit now. So what 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 Dunia did? We're gonna be finding out more into the next test logs in the mission. They faked Harrison's death. They're gonna pretend that a convict, uh, a convict has killed him during 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 a fight, in order to to, to make him this convict. Like they're more they're, they're gonna fake his death and and they're gonna make him the killer of his own death. They're gonna pretend that the convict that he is now is the guy that killed him in Harrison. You know. 
and, and Dunia's original plan was just to use be, use us as, as a host for face huggers. And we also found out that many of the convict laborers that are sent to this to the pods, they are not only only use it for work to force the labor, but sometimes they are used also as hosts for aliens that the way of the personal wants to wants to um, to make, you know, make make aliens for experimentation. Here's a little Aster egg. Like we have like a note from October 3, 22330, which is like from last year, like like around three months ago from the from the time that we're playing right now. When do any forward pod security? CCA Eisenberg from Dr. Michael Bishop, which is the character from Alien to the movie. Which I don't think he shouldn't be alive right now. This game is like 50 years after the events of Alien 3, so I don't think the character could be alive. Which I believe was a human, that was the original intention. He was not an android in that movie. But I think this is just more of an easter egg. He's talking about Combat Riser. Riser is to be shipped back to Ion Mining Facility immediately. He has several outstanding errands. Please have him place it on the next shuttle to Gateway. Gateway is the space station close to Earth in the Aliens movie. This Combat Riser, we're gonna find out about him in the Alien campaign. He's just someone that was involved with Rickoff's schemes of just sending stuff off world because a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff that they get into this planet like specimens, eating specimens there's a lot of smuggling a lot of people try to uh, recover and others are involved in taking eating specimens and try to sell them off words for in the black market to make more money you know and this guy here is a lot, uh, is someone that uh, I believe like Rick of paid to be able to do a lot of his work yeah he, he's, he's one right there Riser, we're gonna meet him in the Alien campaign, but yeah, there's a lot of corruption in the pods. Rikov and Eisenberg both do things behind their own backs. They only have, they all, they all have their personal agenda. Transfer notes. Jonas, wait, it's this game, it's this same guy. I think, I think I missed up the names. No, Riser, no, I think, uh, no, I, it's, no, that, that's the one is not Riser. The one that I was talking about is Richard. Yeah, it's, it's a similar name, that's why. Captain Jonas Richard, he was one of our Rikov's one of the guys that was engaging into rake of skin is schemes maybe he because he he like he got a little bit of a part like he got paid uh some extra money to be able to do it from november 23 27 2230 trust notes easily subject on eisenberg orders monthly constant electronic motor monitoring release only your doctor personal authorization yeah eisenberg really doesn't like when people uh smuggle aliens of war he, he's very touchy about the alien subject we're gonna be finding out more why in the alien campaign but he's very touchy about uh his specimens getting loose like he doesn't mind i mean any any other corruption schemes like artifacts some uh, some alien technology this which is going to be more of the pilot technology from the spa space jockey technology from the creature space jockey from the original alien like he doesn't mind some smuggling some corruption here he just is very touched about the alien alien specimens getting loose which is going to be what this guy was involved on and since he cannot like just go directly to Rikov because he needs Rikov to maintain the security and also Rikov helping helps him maintain a lot of his corruption schemes he just took all the blame on Richard uh, Richard was just a guy that probably got play, play, uh, paid a bribe by Rikov to just try to smuggle one alien egg of word but you guys are gonna be finding out in the alien campaign that things didn't exactly go as planned there I think I got out the notes here oh there's Amo and flares. Okay, we're getting out. We're escaping now. In this level, we're gonna be facing pretty much only humans, only the corporate. Which was kind of weird. Like I first played this level, I was like, "What? We don't fight aliens. It's alien versus predator. We don't fight aliens or predators. We're gonna be facing other humans." Yeah, but I think it's, it fits well. Uh, it's, it's a change of pace. We're gonna be getting back to the alien action in the next level. But this one is supposed to show a little more about like the rule, the real bad guys in this in this planet in this game, are not the aliens or predators. Alien predators are just like aliens are just are like creatures trying to live here and just uh, it's like the the place where they live or place where they have homes. They're just like doing their biological uh, thing, you know. They're just doing what they, what they, the only thing they can do, which is try to make more hosts. They're talking about us. And predators want, they just want to hunt, but they're not like actually evil, evil like predators. Like I mean, you can already. say predators might be. Yeah, there's an alien here, yeah, and this alien that we are talking about is the alien that we play in the alien campaign. So yeah, I mean, about the real bad guys in this game, it's, it's the, it's the corporates, it's the way on the Tony. That I think that's what they're trying to show through this mission. Because the aliens, of course, they try to kill you, but that's their aliens. That's all they know how to do. They, they can do. They are gonna be. They are, it's like they are. They're like an animal. 
they don't have like a they can't really rush on it they are they just like their biological response to anything you know in this planet predators hunt and all but they're like they're not trying to really torture and try to really be bad to people usually predators go with against prey that are actually bad on their, on their own so i mean they they're trying to show here that the real bad guys are eisenberg and rico even in the marine campaign there's a face over there Usually there is a person here. I don't know. I mean, I remember sometimes you can find a corporate here that was face again. So sometimes there are like a breach and some specimen. Sometimes the face targets that they experiment on end up getting out. Oh. Oh. Can I get here? I don't even. I don't think there's nothing here. I think there's just yeah, this vent that we cannot open anyway. Yeah. Oh wait, I have a new test slot. Consider using covert labor when planning high risk planetary developments. Contrary to popular legend, convict escape rates are uniformly low. Frankly, the convicts have nowhere to run, and given the this, this steeply reduced penal terms, escapees are training a few years of danger for a lifetime of incarnation. Naturally, escapes do occur, but seldom involving rational men. For this, escapees should be considered extremely dangerous. SOP is to terminate with prejudice. They're just like giving a little bit of a contest and a little bit of lore in regards to the this concept that they added into this game, which is like the convict labor thing, that in like in outside of the world in, in colonies of other worlds convicts are used and they they like maybe they, they have a, they are like a reduced it their their their, their penal terms are reduced a little bit in return of having a to work off planet i mean off, off earth in another planet for a few years you know and yeah even if they escape like in, in, imagine imagine they escape here at the pods they escape at the pods and outside there's it's just worse because there's a bunch of aliens trying to kill you so like the only safe player safe place for the convicts is where they are working, where's where they are like in the cells pretty much. They can if they escape from here, it's all worse outside. The on the test group yet. Cybernetic rejection is down four percent. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Here we get to listen a bit about the scientists that are experimenting with alien stuff in this place. Is it? What do you mean? I hear this gear is derived from artifact Artifact technology, technology is you get that rumor? technology from the pilots. What if we're misunderstanding what it does? The we could pilots be in this game, in they refer to the space jockey no more than from the first Alien here. movie. Anyway, enough speculation. We've got another batch of data to go through. Oh, it's something, I'm gonna already mention this here, but in the private campaign we find some notes that this, this planet here, LV1201, was fined because of the information from the, the derelict from LV426. You know, from the alien movie, the original alien ship where the alien eggs from the first movie are found. They found the flight telemetry from, from where, the location where the ship was before it crashed on that planet. And they got the location for this planet from that. So like, this, the, in this game, they tried to push that the spaceship from the alien movie came from this planet before crashing there. And that's how they end up finding this planet. And this planet here has a big structure of space jockey, like where the, where that ship came from. So this was like, it's kind of implied to be a planet where the space jockey species, because back then, like there were no engineers. That's something that only came later with the Prometheus movie. They they, they, they had like a colony here. They had like the, a, a base here where they would like experimental aliens. And that's where the aliens from the first movie came from this planet here. But it's even explained that they're not nat native to this planet. It's not like the alien homeworld. This is not an, a planet where the aliens are native to. This planet here is just, it, it seems to be implied to be a base where the space jockey species experimented on aliens. And things got out of control and yes. some ships escaped and probably the ones from LV 426 was one of those. Sample four one five. Sample collected during There's an alien there, which are like they're injecting stuff on it and trying to see how it reacts, I believe. Reacts with increased yeah. Hostility and aggression. They're injecting pheromones into our alien specimens. Pheromone now. So we get to see a little bit how what is going on inside the pods as we try to escape. And we hear aliens. Because there's always a chance of an alien escaping here at the pods. Recov assures me that the pod security has been restored, yet the personnel remain nervous and edgy. Because, I mean, there is an alien still running, going around into the pods here, in this area. I also heard warning klaxons periodically and reports that Deck 24 has been sealed to an ongoing contaminant. Recov explained that this is normal pressure. It's just bullshitting. It, it's just all bullshit. Like, a lot, of, a, lot of shit, a lot of bad shit is going on in the pods, and the... Rykov and Eisenberg just trying to make it their best to hide everything from the Marines, you know? They're just hiding everything under the carpet, all the dirt over the carpet. 
The floors are evacuated and sealed until chemical treatments can be applied. Because they, they just want the marines to get out of here as fast as possible. They don't want any risk of the marines finding out too much information about what is really happening in, in the pods. No guards get hurt that way. Of course this takes time. I pity the man who fails to get out in time. I can't imagine being trapped in there with one of those things. Not after what they did to Hao, Hao, Sergeant Hao. The woman from the first mission which we failed to save and was end up getting chest bursted. There's a lot of notes in this level. In case of specimen contamination, proceed immediately to the nearest class 1 security zone. Failure to evacuate and we're returning in isolation within the contaminated area. Internal security. Yeah, a lot of people probably die doing like contaminated bridges. A lot of people had to be sacrificed so that things don't get worse when an alien escapes here. About yeah, it must be rough working here. And yeah, we, there's acid there. A alien escaped. It was specifically one big enough to, to do this. What are? Which is gonna be a predator? A predator has escaped. We're gonna find out how he escaped in the alien campaign. Oh, here is about information about a Proidalian, how, how they made a Proidalian, because this was a Proidalian that was made at the pod. From December 3, 2230, implant vitamin is very strong. These predators are hardly animals. Biology, biology appears compatible with xenomorphology, gestation moving into final stage. So they just use a predator to be to use it as a host for alien, to, to be used as an experimentation to, to they use it a predator to to experiment on and to to be used as a host because they wanted to see what kind of alien could come out of it, you know. They use it they use it a predator as a host. And we're gonna be find out who this predator was in the predator campaign. Like I said, I mean a lot a lot of stuff from from this campaign, like the predator, where did this predator came from? How, how did he escape at the pods? We found that in the alien campaign. This predator that they are talking about in this test log we found out about who he is, where he came from in the predator campaign. A lot, a lot of stuff from one campaign interacts with the other one. That's a lot of uh, something that I, I always really enjoy in this game. Shash Burst is already it, it, as, as hitting unusual physiology. Look forward to seeing it fully grow behind the glass, of course. So they just wanted to see what kind of alien could come out of a predator, I guess. And they saw... And maybe they... I think uh, it was a little bit like... Because they didn't know what to do with the predators. They, did some, they captured multiple, multiple predators. And uh, Raykov wanted the Predators to suffer because he doesn't really like Predators, as you guys are going to be find out. Uh, I'm going to be doing something here. I believe there is an area here, which I can only access by using the, the shit. And there is some hidden test logs there. I just want to see if this is where our memory was. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> look at this shit. You can get to... Oh. There is a hidden room, I believe. I'm just not sure where it was. I don't think it's here yet. Because there is some hidden test logs in an area which I can't get into unless I use this shit. I never managed to get it open, but there are some test logs in there for some reason. Uh, not here. I believe uh, I could be here. Maybe it's here. Maybe they are like uh, test logs which they end up like cancelling. No, it's not here. There is a room. Oh shit, I died. <laughs> I just walked it out of the edge of the map and end up dying. But there is for sure a place here where there are some hidden test logs. I just need to find out where. But with the 60 cents, I can, I can find it. Oh! Oh, yeah, that was the Predator taking the guy. Date, October 16, 2230. When the physician's report, subject General Vasily Rikov. The general refused again to go undergo a physical exam. I have reported this to Dr. Eisenberg, but he does nothing. I fear the general may be chemically de dependent. He becomes jumpy and irritable on a regular cycle, disappearing momentarily to return refreshed. If I am right, his actions may place us all in jeopardy. The doctor should act in any event. I have voiced my concern. My vo my hands are clean. I mean, the doctor doesn't like really to bug uh, Rikov much because Rikov does a good job of it all. And I mean, he, he does a good, bad job because he managed to do all the dirty stuff that Eisenberg wants him to do when, when it's necessary to just keep everybody in line like a dictatorship, you know? So because of that, he doesn't really bug Rikov much. But yeah, Rikov has a lot of uh, problems. And we find out more about in the test logs. This is like a little bit of foreshadowing that we're going to be seeing more in the Predator campaign. 
But yeah, this he's completely dependent because he's has been injured when he was young, and he uses drugs to keep the pain in check. Let me try. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, I want to find where the little room is. I, mean, I think it might be in the the floor below. There was like a hidden room. Because in this shit you can like go through the level like outside. No, it's not this way. Yeah, I died. I keep walking. I I'm pretty sure there is a hidden room in here. I just have, ma have not managed to find it yet. Let, let me ch check. Just because at the, uh, there is like two test logs there, I believe. Or was it in the alien campaign? Because there, like, it has an alien in this game, you cannot read the test logs. Nah, I, I cannot. Nah, it's not. Oh. Uh, I was pretty sure it was in this level. Maybe, maybe it's the alien level. Because in the alien level, you can find locations with test logs, but you cannot read them. Could be after we fight it for this. Not the best weapon to use against a Poidania, but here we go. We won. Yay. Let me see if it's in here. Wait, let me save again. Oh, it's here. It's here. I found it. I found it. There is a... Yeah, I don't know. This room here, which was I was trying to get into before, uh, it cannot be opened, but there is stuff here. There's, yeah, uh, it was not a test log, it was a computer log from July 24, 2230 to Dr. Martin Sharp, head of the ESO Biological Research from Dr. Eisenberg. Your recommendation of Dr. Clements intrigues me. Her work shows dramatic insight for such a young woman, however, it was decently, uh, 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 a decently idealistic tone. Choose your thing carefully. I understand that you have worked closely with her in the past. A pleasant experiment, I imagine. She's quite beautiful, at least in her book jacket photo. The decision lies with you. Make it wisely. So I remember in the in the first marine mission, I think we, we uh, you guys might have remembered that we we found out about uh, messages from Eisenberg and Rikov to keep the death of Doctor Clements quiet, tell people telling people to stop talking about it because she ended up dying and it was their fault. So the thing here is that. Uh, we're gonna be this guy Martin Sharp. We're gonna see more of any other test logs and into the Primal Hunt, uh, the Primal Hunt expansion pack. He got Dr. Clements, this girl Clements, to work here at the pods. But Eisenberg was worried about her because she seemed very honest, and she and he needs like people that are willing to do his work, like his corruption work, to be corrupt, you know, to do what he wants. He cannot take honest people in the pods. That's the thing. So he was like warning. Martin Sharp about how Clement seems too honest to work here. She, she, he wants people that he can manipulate and that he can control. He doesn't want just people that can do can, can do their job. He, he like he and Rakov, like I said, they have like a dictatorship here. So the thing with Clements and Sharp is that since they are like, since Clements was sent here, she is gonna they are gonna have like doing a scheme against her. Oh, there's another one here. Yeah, Doctor Martin again. This message is from Clements, Bethany Clements, this girl, to to Martin. Thank you so much for getting me a post at the pods. I think Eisenberg work on genetic synthesis matches my expertise very well. I have said this before, but you're a wonderful mentor. Your career advice and help has been wonderful. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's a little, maybe a little bit of also a love between these two, these two people, Martin Sharp and Clements. So they kind of he got he got he got her a work here, and unfortunately they end up getting the, like. Both of them end up getting like backstabbed by Eisenberg and Rico pretty much. I think Clements Eisenberg was the one that made this scheme against Clements. He's gonna he's gonna pretend to have a Facebooker fa face hugger outbreak when, when she was working. She he's gonna get her face hugged. And Martin Sharp, uh, I don't remember what happened to me. I think I think it was Rikov 
that just got rid of him somehow. Just made that. They just make accents, though. No? They made that. They made sometimes when someone is not working the way they want, some employee, some scientist, they just make an accident of having a face hugger escape, you know? And that's all they need to do. Face hugger escapes. The person who gets face hugger is gonna die. That's it. That's how Rico and Eisenberg keep people, keep 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 their employees in check in the, in this in the pods just by do, do being threatening them by getting face hugged. That's fuck it up. So that's why they are really the real villains here because aliens are just doing what they are biologically programmed to do. You know, it's just a thing. Predators hunt, but they usually hunt people that are like dangerous, bad people. You know, soldiers, people that are like they don't like usually hunt innocent people. But humans here, humans are really the, the worst suspicious. They are the ones that really are doing the worst things. And oh, wait, shit. I need to get back. I need to get back into here. Yeah. Uh, let me. Shit MP 60 cents. Okay, we're back to normal. As you guys could notice, there is just so much stuff, so much uh, world building in this game, so much hidden test information, so much storyline, side stories that have been happening at the same time as ours. And we can just like uncover more information just by looking around at, the, at these test logs. It's really interesting. That's one of the things that really made this game so much interesting for me. And we finished another section of this level.